is recorded in your necks as a witness against you, and you would be asked about it on the day of resurrection. Okay. So sort of basically, I was saying to this guy, there were sores that the early Muslims forgot. That's my point. You are. You are bringing the most ridiculous. Okay, go on then. Explain it. Okay, so explain it then. Don't play your games. Just put, explain it. Okay. <laughs> if one companion forgets something, does it mean the Quran is not there? Okay, so. Sure. I will give you an example. Yeah. Listen to this and listen to everyone here. Yeah. Now, all of us, all of us here, we witness, we hear this, yeah? I could have memorized this hadith, yes? You may have maybe memorized the hadith, yes? Maybe this brother didn't memorize it, yeah? Then this brother wanted to remind people about things that he may forget about it. Does it mean the hadith doesn't exist? Does it mean this hadith doesn't exist? You see the point? It's so seriously, I thought even this, this one, this, just yeah. what you read now, yeah. what you read now, sure, not hadith. what you read now, yeah. this hadith, no, I'm talking about this hadith now, this hadith, what you read now, you may have maybe memorized it. I may have maybe memorized it. Maybe he forget about it. Does it mean it doesn't exist? You see, this is the most ridiculous thing that happened. So that's why the Quran wasn't preserved by an individual. The Quran was preserved by a group of companions of okay, the Prophet so Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I didn't finish my point. You, you came to ask, yeah? You came to ask. You still stand, yeah? So anyway, so it was, it was compiled by a group of companions, a committee of companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And even if one person forget about it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't harm the Quran. One person, he as Musa al-Ash'ari, saying to the people after him, He's not talking about a companions. He's saying to the people who are coming and learning from the company. He said, yes, I, I, read, I read the surah and I forget about it. It doesn't harm the Quran if Abu Musa radiallahu anh, forget about the surah. It doesn't harm the Quran. In fact, where we have a committee of the companions, which when they have compiled the Quran and it was preserved, like it was preserved in memorization by companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and as well it was preserved by written when the companions get together and they wrote the Quran and they have agreed what is between the two sides of the Quran. It is what Allah has revealed upon the Prophet Sallallahu So when you bring this ridiculous argument, he's, he's you saying, know, no, 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 he knows what I'm saying. He's, he's no, I know, I know, no, I'm not, I'm not, not playing games. What he's saying is, <laughs> listen, no, no, hey, let, him, let him say. Listen, they said they used to remember a surah. So show me he used where to this, remember no, a surah. Listen, show me where this is in the Quran. If there were two valleys full of riches for the son of Adam, he would long for a bird valley. Show me the way that, that, that's in the Quran. Because he made the claim this used to be in the Quran. So show me where that's in the Quran. Going back, going back, does the companion, can he make a mistake? Can a companion make a mistake? We don't believe that the companions of the Prophet are infallible. We don't believe this. We are not like you. Have, having a holy spirit. Yeah, so you know what you're saying? Yeah. It's yeah, Muslim listen, listen, listen. Bus. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You don't believe in Sahih Muslim? Here. You Come see on. here. That's why I said to you, the issue is you need you need to be checked seriously. Because either you so don't you're understand. you're saying this guy was wrong. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's wrong. That's, you're, you're saying he was wrong? Yeah, he was wrong. Yeah. He was wrong. saying he listen, could be wrong. Sahih My point Muslim, is. You know Muslim recites that a guy no, no, got two swords. You see how much, this how much are we Muslims, we are, we, we, how much, this, this how much, this how much we Muslims, this how much, yeah. this how much we Muslims, we, we narrate things which is in our favor and things which could go against our favor because we are honest people. We will narrate everything, whatever we have. And that shows Imam Muslim, Rahmullah, I didn't say throw the Muslim under the... No, we don't say this. But we claim, that's what we claim. We claim that those companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it doesn't mean they're infallible. And as well, it doesn't mean they're infallible. And we know, as well for you to know, it, it's either one of the two things. Either that the Abu Musa radiallahu anhu, and we still, we respect him, we love him for the sake of he's one of the great companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Either he forget about it, no problem. It doesn't harm him. We forget about it. Or, but, and by the way, he wasn't a member of the committee. By the way, for the compiling the Quran, there is a committee, dedicated one, known. Those are they used to write the Quran at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he wasn't a member of that committee. That's one thing. Okay. At the time of Abu Bakr okay. or at the time of Uthman. No, no. Let me finish. Let me, you ask. You ask. Let me finish. The second thing, we believe as Muslims that there are certain verses in the Quran being abrogated. We believe this as Muslims. 
We have no problem to say this because Allah says in the Quran, Allah confirmed this in the Quran. When we read the Quran, we say, whenever we abrogate a verse, either we bring something similar or something better than that. So we believe this as Muslims, that there are certain verses of the Quran being abrogated. Either it is abrogated in the citation and the ruling stands, or the ruling and the, the recitation and the ruling abrogated, or the recitation still and the ruling is abrogated. So we believe in this as Muslim. We have no issues with okay. that. So this could be one of the two things. Either Abu Musa radiallahu forget, no problem. Or Abu Musa radiallahu anhu he read from the before this abrogation came, and no problem with that. Either way, it doesn't harm the Quran because we have a committee, dedicated committee, they get together and they said no, no, this no. is the Quran. So you, you just flip flop. One minute you no. gave one explanation. No, I said both. Yes, I said you either. I said either. I said so either. You don't know. I said either. Okay, so give me a classical scholar, scholar that agrees with what you just said. Uh, the classical scholars, this is how they stand. The because classical Ibn Omar said, listen, let no man say he has remembered the whole of the Quran. Because how can he say he's remembered the whole of the Quran when much of it where, where, where has been Where Ibn Omar said this? Where Ibn Omar said this? So you said he didn't say this? No. Well, he's saying, listen, show me, show me. What did uh, he next say? week, listen. Uh, next week, I'll bring the evidence. If I'm wrong, okay. I'll give a hundred pound. No, 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 no. no, no you give a hundred pound now today. No, 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 no. There is a hundred pound today now. Now there is a hundred pound today. There is a hundred pound today now. Your explanation is right. Listen, you see these people. They're stingy people. Your people. explanation is right. Listen. You you were supposed to give hundred pound now. You said if you explain this to me, it's not and then that's he's it. Lying. No, he's lying. No, how do you say I lie? Show how me. How do you know I lie? How do you know I lie? That's agreed with you. How do you know I lie? Because they didn't say that. How do you know I lie? They said they, these verses uh, uh, were lost. How do you know I lie? No. Because of who said, sources. Who said? Give me a single scholar who said Ibn it was lost. Omar. Where is it? Where did he say this? I'll bring it to you. So next Ibn Amr said some verses lost. Yes, he said. How can anyone say? So, one, one second. He's remembered. So one second. I dare anyone just to go. Okay, it. one second. This is in your, your source. Did, so, did Ibn Umar said some verses were lost? Ibn Umar said this. Yes. Sir. Give me the source. So okay, I'll get it. You. Authentic report next so, week. you're going to bring it so next week. An authentic, listen. What we need. And if I'm listen, right, listen. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Because hey, hey, hey. you play your phone. games. I know you're not. Smartphone. Google. I'm bring you. No, no, no. Sheikh Google. No, no, no. I'm going to bring it to you. Allama Wikipedia. So, when I bring it, then what? What? If I bring it, then what? What? If I bring sources, we need a source. Calm down, calm down, calm down. No, 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 not any source. Listen, listen, listen. Not any source. Listen. We need an authentic. You understand yes. what means authentic? So if I bring you, do you understand what means yes. authentic? If I bring no, no. Do you know what means authentic? Explain it. Do you know what means? Games. No, no. Before game, games. you need listen. We need time. Do you know? Do you know what means authentic in Islam? Do you know what means authentic? He doesn't know. Do you know? Or I'm giving you Sahih Muslim you, and you phone him on no, the No, 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 no. I, I don't okay. know what you mean, Mark. So, so, so. Do you know what means authentic? You know what? You have got no Islam. Listen. If you're phoning your Sahih under the bus, you have no Islam. <laughs> okay. Going back. If I, no say, if I say, if I say, one second. Of course you don't. You see here, look at this. I, as I told you before, I told you earlier, because you wanted to understand things in your way. And that's, by the way, I told well, you. You're making it up. Okay. So why did you give two opinions? Then? Another thing. I told no, him no, in the if, beginning. No, no, no. If you're saying what you're saying is, why do you not just give one? Okay. Opinion? Let's go back you to what I two. said to you. Let's give you. Let's go back to what I said to you. I told you in the beginning, for any single argument to be convincing argument, it needs three conditions. Yeah. Three. Firstly, you need someone to convince. Yeah. You need someone to be convinced, and you need a convincing argument. Yeah. So if I bring someone to convince, and if I bring convincing argument, if someone doesn't need to be convinced, what is the problem now? Going back, did I say Sahih Muslim, I don't agree with it? No, yes. I didn't say this. Yeah. No, I said I agree with Sahih Muslim, but not 100%. Because for me, there are, there are certain narration for you to know. So there are this, certain okay, narration. So let, let me ask you this question. Before we go to this, before we go to this. No, 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 no don't interrupt me. No, no, let me, before we play games now. You are playing games now. Before we go to Sahih Muslim now here, before going into this hadith, how the scholars of Islam, by the way, Tabari rahimahullah and others, scholars of Islam, which the, the, the giant Mufassirin, in the beginning they have mentioned this clearly in the Quran, about the Quran. They said there are verses which has been abrogated in Islam. 
the meaning of abrogation in Islam, I'm trying to explain to you. I hope you could understand. You know what? I hope you, know you could understand. Yasser Qadi, you know in Yasser Qadi's book. I, I don't care about Yasser Qadi. Okay, well, he Yasser Qadi, Yasser Qadi, Qadi I don't care. What you're just saying. I don't care about Yasser Qadi. Okay. Yasser Qadi doesn't have authority in Islam. Okay, so you neither you, Yasser then. Qadi. Neither you then. No, okay, neither me. Okay, so Yasser why Qadi. Am I to you? Okay, then you came to me. Did I came to you? Did I beg you? You came to me. What is the hundred pound? 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 What do you do with that book? You brought it. What do you? Where are you going? You came to me here. I didn't lying. come you to you. Any evidence. The brother came you to me before. Him. Listen, the brother came to me earlier. He said anyway, to me, come and speak to him. I said, no, let him come. You came. You came to me and you don't want to do that. This book, yeah. they think they have a champion who's written it and we have debunked this book, refuted it. We have already. So, so anyone who's interested in a response to this book, just search on academia.org. Yes, Subhanallah. Al-Bahraini. Jazakallah khair. And of course, I've been the author as well. And you can see on the YouTube as well, the responses to this book. So, so the point is, the point is, when we have, by the way, it's not the, this is not the only narration, whether you find it in the, in the books of Hadith, this is not the only narration indicating that some companions, radiyallahu anhum, have recited certain verses which is not there in the Quran. We have in Sahih Bukhari, Amr al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu, he's talking about the verse of the stoning. He mentioned this. He said, this verse, we have, we memorize it, we know it, but Allah has abrogated it. So we have no problem to say that there are certain verses in the Quran being abrogated. There are certain verses of the Quran could be abrogated in terms of recitation, or it could be abrogated in terms of uh, in terms of the, uh, that the ruling is abrogated, but still the recitation still stands. Or both the ruling and the recitation both have been, been, been abrogated. We have no issues with it. And as well, we believe as well those companions, radiallahu anhum, that we believe they are not infallible. We believe they could make mistakes. We believe this. We have no issues with this. We are not hiding behind our thumb. We bring the truth, alhamdulillah. And as well, we need to understand when we are dealing with the Quranic scripture, we have to get the understanding of the companions. And that's why Abu Bakr, radiallahu anhu, he made a committee brought a committee together to compile the Quran and as well at the time of Uthman radiallahu anhu he made the people to follow the Quran which was compiled by Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and that is what we, how we understand the Quran so it's not just any random person will come and say oh you just throw a shubha, throw a doubtful matter thinking that this is right that's why these, these people they try to target this and by the way he is running away from he is running away from from paying the hundred pounds yeah he said, he said, if I prove to him, if I explain it to him, he has to pay hundred pounds to our charity. And I suggest, I suggest you could go to our, your local mosque, <laughs> which is charity. And you just give it. I gave it that. I gave my evidence. I gave the evidence. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So the scholars of Islam, they have explained this and they mentioned this in many books of Tafasir. I ask Allah Azzal, to guide us to the truth and ask Allah Azzal to keep us upon the truth and to meet him while he while he's pleased with us. Jazakumullah khairan. Allah barik